Ah, young love. It's a romantic comedy that follows the story of a newlywed couple as they navigate a series of challenges in their first year of marriage. Paper Year is the first feature film for Canadian Rebecca Adelman, and she's here today to talk about it. First feature film, the first one you've written, first one you've directed. Yes. No pressure. Yes, that's correct. No, none at all. None After coming from TV, easy peasy. It's, a, it's, it's a, a lovely little comedy. It's, I think that's the most challenging year, isn't it, for anybody, especially when you're that young, and especially for millennials now. Well, that's the thing. I mean, I actually got married really young as well, and everyone told me not to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it was this really Wait. unusual thing, I think, for, for young people to go and go ahead and just get married because mm -hmm. they were in love. And it's, yeah, it's challenging. Yeah. What was, so is it a bit autobiographical or? <laughs> very loosely, very loosely, very loosely, right. very loosely, yeah. What was it like making the transition from writing for, you wrote for New Girls, what yeah. was it like moving to the big screen and writing a full feature? And directing it too. Yeah, you know, the writing was uh, pretty natural and easy. Yeah. Uh, and, and what was so lovely about writing the movie was that I just wrote it. I like went away to a cabin in the woods and I, and it, I just wrote it for myself. I just wrote it with no expectations. When you write for New Girl, you write for a TV show, you're really writing for other people. There's mm -hmm. a whole system in place that you're, you're writing scripts. So many people are reading them. And it's team collaboration. Too, team right? collaboration. Uh, you know, it's a, th there are a lot of people involved. So there are a lot of cooks in the kitchen. This was just me. Was that was that daunting, or were you, or did you feel good about being? You know, able to do that? with the writing, it was okay. When it came time to actually shoot this thing, yeah, you know, and people were like, "Yeah, let's make it." <laughs> then, Wait, I'm going to direct. Oh my gosh, yeah, that yeah, sure, it was daunting at first when you're meeting, sitting down with actors, and these are real actors who, yeah. professionals, I'm gonna, I'm professionals, and I'm going to direct them. You know, you start to think, oh yeah, right. How did you do that? How did, how did you make the track? Because you said you directed one short right before this. I had only directed one short. I mean, I'd worked in live comedy for a long time yeah. and made my own sketches. I was part of a, a theater in, in L.A. called the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater. And we did a lot of making our own videos and shorts, but nothing. I mean, we didn't, <laughs> those were things without a crew. You know, you'd, you'd hold the camera, you'd cut, the, you'd cut it yourself, everything like that. Yeah. So this was a big jump. Yeah. How did it feel the first time you say, what do you, what's the first thing, roll? Action. <laughs> you say action. Yeah, how'd you that say feel? Action. How'd it feel when you said that? Uh, extremely powerful. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun, and it's, it's yeah, come it together. Great. It was great. And, you know, listen, there's a reason people want to direct. There's a reason I think that many people have been shut out of directing for so long. It's the, it, 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 you, it's the ultimate thing yeah. on set. Yeah, you're well, calling the shots. You have complete control. Yeah, you're calling the shots. Now you get to hold all the blame, though, too. Or can you pawn it off if things no, go wrong? No, all the blame rests on my shoulders. That's the thing. <laughs> you know, all these wonderful people are helping. They're collaborating. They're bringing their talents to the movie. But at the end of the day, I do feel like if the movie's good or bad, yeah. it, it, it's because of me. What do you like the most about the movie? Then? Now, when you, from when you started, did it finish the way you, you visualized, you saw it at the beginning? No. <laughs> Not at all. all. Right. I mean, I think it probably, I, I actually think it finished better. It's just, it becomes an entirely different thing. You set off with, with a script and you end with, you know, something that real humans, actors bring themselves to and production designers bring themselves to and cinematographers and suddenly you've got this, this whole new beast in front of you and you have to contend with that. So the movie took on a life of its own and I'm very proud of it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank you. And Paper Year opens tomorrow at select theaters in Toronto, Ottawa, and Vancouver. Lots more on Breakfast Television. Stay around.